Today I've got the Astrolux FT-01. This is a larger flashlight. Um, it takes a 2700 battery or a 21700, takes both. And uh, let's take a look at what it does. Thanks to Banggood for sending this to me to take a look at. So here is the packaging the light comes in. It's just a white box with a picture of the light on the front here. On the side, you've got, you know, applications. It's a pretty basic box, and unfortunately mine is uh, covered in a lot of this Chinese yellow tape. On the end, which you can kind of see there, it tells you what model. This does use the Cree XHP 50.2 LED, and mine is in what they're calling the champagne color. So in your bag of accessories, you get the lanyard with this one note here. It's got a pretty thin end. You get an extra button cap, you get two MO rings, and you get the manual. You also get this tube here that's useful for if you're running 18650s in this light. It kind of acts as a spacer. The Astrolux FT-01 is a fairly large light. If we look at it next to the Wubin T-70, you can see the Wubin's just a little bit shorter. And uh, they're nearly identical width-wise. The Wubin's just a little bit bigger in the head here. They both have USB recharging. Um, the Wubin takes a 26650 and the Astrolux takes a um, 18650 or 2700 or 21700, I believe. I don't have a 21700 to test exactly, but that's what they indicate. When I weighed the Astrolux FT-01, it came with a Pant Santa San Yo 2700 in it. It came out at 250 grams. So starting at the tail cap here, you can see that it's made from you can see it's made from aluminum, and mine is anodized in the champagne color. It's a, I'd call it almost gold. They do have a gray and a black model as well. I love seeing manufacturers offer lights in colors. I'm just question if gold is uh, the color they really should be um, offering here. So starting at the tail cap, it's a three lobe design as you can see here. We can see a little bit better from the end cap got a button there it's a pretty standard button it takes a decent amount of force you can attach a lanyard at any of the three lobes it's kind of odd there's no uh, knurling or anything on the tail cap here to provide grip but these milled out areas do a pretty decent job of that the threads here are smooth they are square cut we can see the spring in here is a double spring it's pretty stiff and here is uh, the thickness of the light. You can see I've got a Sanyo 2700 in there. It is loose, um, like the 2700 will fit, but it'd be nice to see that fit in there just a little bit tighter. If we look at the body tube, it's got three flat panels here with some diamond um, areas that are milled into it. These are fine on like an EDC style light, but whereas this is kind of marketed as being tactical, it doesn't really have that much grip to it. If we look at the head, we can see that it's got some areas here that are milled for heat dissipation. These are fairly shallow, nothing real substantial to them. You could almost argue they're aesthetic. The button is pretty standard. It's an electronic button. Um, it only works if that uh, tail on off button is depressed, so you can't do any combination of the two. It'd be nice if you could uh, turn on the light with the uh, front button as well. Around the button, you've got a darker copper colored bezel. On the back side here is the USB charging port. And I think this is a really well done USB recharging port. On some lights, this little tab gets in the way. You feel it with your finger or something like that, or these uh, charging ports stick up. On this light, it's flat. That little flap doesn't get in the way of your finger at all. I can't even feel it. Um, and that's something that's really well done with this light. I like that it's got minimal branding here, just Astrolux FT-01. You've got a little caution hot symbol up there. And that's it. There's no other branding on this light. At the front, you've got this uh, aluminum bezel here. Um, it's got just very, very light crenulations on it. Mine isn't 100% round and doesn't match the light. Um, hard to see in pictures here or on video, but this edge you can definitely feel is a little bit longer on this side. And if I go opposite that, it is flush. So just some uh, machining issues with the light and their tolerances here. The reflector is anti-reflective coated. The reflector in there is deep and has an orange peel to it. And you can see the LED is nicely centered. 
This light's got a Cree XHP 50.2 in it, and it's fairly cool white. My example suffered pretty bad from a Cree rainbow, and you can even kind of see that on the table here with my video lights, which is kind of rare. I'll insert a still image of that, what that looks like on my wall as well. The center is a cooler white, but as you go out from that, you get a pronounced green ring before it fades into a cooler white again. Not really my cup of tea on this one. Um, the reflector is deep and has a nice orange peel to it. Mode spacing here is 1.9 lumens, 200 lumens, 650 lumens, 1300 lumens, 2215 lumens in both turbo and strobe. All right, here's the Astrolux FT-01. It does have a very low mode here. If I pan down, you can see it. If I step up, here is really the lights kind of default low, what it comes on in, in default. It's fairly bright. This isn't the camera blowing it out or anything. And it's a fairly cool beam. Stepping up one more time, it's a small step. Again, one more time. That is high. You can see the beam throws decently well, um, but it's definitely not a thrower. We can't hit the trees across the street at school. Yeah, but if we dump up to turbo, this is 2200 lumens, you can just start to see those trees a little bit. Overall, this beam's got a decent amount of throw, nothing um, crazy, it's not a thrower but um, that deeper reflector does um, concentrate the beam a little bit. You can on my fence, if I bump down, the light also has strobe here. If I bump down to more reasonable mode here, you can see its center is pretty white, but the beam starts to get a little green off to the edge, and it looks like it's the reflection off the grass and whatever, but that's actually the beam. Cree rainbow on this thing is pretty intense. For my runtime tests, I did so with two different battery sizes for this light. I used a LG HG2, which is 3,000 milliamp hours for the 18650 with the adapter. And then I used a Sanyo NCR2700, which has 4,250 milliamp hours. Surprisingly, both lights had a relatively similar total run times at about 150 minutes and 170 minutes. However, the main difference you see in the graphs here are the, after the initial step down from turbo. Turbo lasted two or three minutes on both batteries. And then with the 18650, you saw about 45 minutes of high before stepping down due to voltage decline. And then with the larger capacity 2700, I saw high mode last for about 65 minutes, which is a nice real world improvement. This light uses a pretty easy interface. The tail switch is on off. And then you've got low mode here. You click up. You have five modes in the normal operation. Double click to access to turbo. Double click uh, from any mode, you can then press and hold one second and get strobe. And there isn't really uh, memory on this light, it always starts on low. For being marketed as a tactical light or military functions, I don't really like this UI. I don't think it's very tactical. I think it's a more practical general purpose UI. I have no problems with it on that stand front. But from a tactical standpoint, having to press on and off and then double press that front button to get to turbo, it requires two hands or shifting your grip. So you could turn it on like that and then you have to shift and double click or with two handed, you know, turn on and then double click to get to your turbo. It's just a little bit cumbersome for a light that's kind of marketed as being military or tactical functions. For recharging, the fastest I saw using the built-in micro USB was 0.72 amps, which means it right, took right at four and a half hours to charge the 3,000 milliamp hour cell and even longer for that uh, 2,700 or larger cell. This is fairly slow by modern standards. I'd like to see at least a full amp. The side button here activate, acts as a power indicator going red when charging. And uh, as I was mentioning before, this charging cover is really well designed. I had no problems with it or the depth of the USB port underneath. So for me, the pros of this is, I like that it works with a 21700, 2700, and 18650 batteries with the adapt included adapter. I like that it has minimal branding and the lights available in different colors, although I'm not really sure this uh, gold one is for me. The cons are it's fairly large, 
and heavy for what it is. It's got really thick uh, walls to it. Uh, you could fit a 2700, or you could fit a 26650 battery in here if it was uh, milled out a little bit more. It's expensive without a coupon. Uh, if I do have a coupon, it'll be in the description below for coming without a battery. And it's pretty bad Cree uh, tint shift on this one that I have here. My conclusion is this won't be a big surprise, but I'm not really a huge fan of this light. It's a little bit too big and heavy. Um, its UI is more general purpose than tactical. And I like that it comes in different colors and you can use the newer generation of the 2700s, um, 21700 batteries. However, for tactical usage, you won't find this on my uh, belt or bag. I do think it'd be okay if you were using it for like camping or something like that. I do think this would be an okay light for someone who's wanting something more basic, maybe an older person in your life. Um, it's larger, it's got USB rechargeable. You could give it to them and tell them just to use the uh, on off switch. Low's fairly bright. It's probably brighter than any incandescent light they have. And if they did want to bump up, the front switch is easy to use. Other than that, I generally think there would be better options on the market for tactical and military type applications. If you've got an FTO one, let me know what you think below. Do you agree with my conclusions or do you think differently? Let me know in the comments below. As always guys, thanks for making sure you're subscribed. Make sure you tell your friends. If you've enjoyed this, like the video and be sure to check back for more flashlight content soon.